Model 2 is cancelled. That's what critics claimed for months. But Tesla's Q2 2025 earnings call just proved them wrong. Production begins late 2025, confirmed by Musk himself. Reuters reports 10,000 trial units already built. The target price? $20,000 to $25,000, potentially under $15,000 after incentives in select markets. This isn't vaporware. Suppliers are prepping, factories are tooling up, and the unboxed manufacturing process is ready. While legacy automakers struggle with $50,000 EVs, Tesla's about to rewrite the rulebook. The evidence is undeniable. Let's dive right in. Let's start with what actually happened. While headlines screamed, Model 2 cancelled, Tesla's engineering team never stopped working. Reuters broke the story with three independent sources. Trial production began in June 2025. Not concept cars, real production units, approximately 10,000 of them. The Q2 2025 earnings call removed any remaining doubt. Lars Maravi, Tesla's head of vehicle engineering, stated clearly, We're still planning to release new models this year. We're working through last-minute issues, but nothing's blocking us from starting production within the timeline we laid out. CNBC added another piece. Tesla informed suppliers to prepare for Redwood, a compact crossover launching mid-2025. Two suppliers independently confirmed identical vehicle specs and timelines. When billion-dollar supply chains mobilize, the project is real. The production numbers back it up. Tesla built over 410,000 vehicles in Q2 2025 alone, proving the factory capacity exists. The infrastructure is ready. The question was never if, it was always when. In October 2024, Musk called a conventional $25,000 car pointless, pushing Robotaxis instead. Critics claimed this proved the Model 2 was dead. They missed the strategy entirely. Tesla's core challenge isn't technology, it's factory utilization. Empty production lines burn cash. The Model 2 solves that while unlocking a massive market segment Tesla never dominated. Genuine budget buyers who've been priced out of EVS. The brilliance? Every Model 2 sold funds the Robotaxi future. Each unit generates training data for full self-driving, subsidizes AI development, and locks customers into Tesla's ecosystem. Goldman Sachs estimates 8000 to $12,000 in lifetime FSD upgrade revenue per vehicle. Sell hardware near cost. Profit on software. The same playbook Apple used to dominate smartphones. Musk wasn't abandoning affordable EVS. He was positioning them as the foundation for autonomy. The Model 2 isn't competing with the Cybercab. It's financing it. Traditional automotive assembly is linear front to back, piece by piece, station by station. Tesla's unboxed process demolishes that approach. Instead of sequential assembly, the Model 2 uses modular mega sections, pre-assembled chunks, complete door assemblies, battery trays, cabin modules come together simultaneously. The Manufacturing Engineering Society reports this cuts $3,000 per vehicle versus conventional methods. The gains are dramatic. 50% reduction in factory floor space, 30% faster assembly time. More critically, it's scalable. Once perfected, Tesla can replicate this line across every gigafactory. Shanghai, Berlin, Texas, Mexico. Legacy automakers are still welding individual panels while Tesla stamps entire car sections with Gigapress machines. This isn't incremental improvement. It's a fundamental reimagining of how cars get built. And it's why Tesla can hit price points that make Ford and GM executives lose sleep. 
specifications tell the real story. The Model 2 measures approximately 4.3 meters, 169 inches, 30 centimeters shorter than the Model Y's 4.75 meter length. Height drops 5 to 8 centimeters. This isn't styling, it's strategic physics. Smaller, lower, lighter equals less aerodynamic drag, reduced energy consumption, and smaller battery requirements. Weight target, 3,200 to 3,400 pounds versus the Model Y's 4,400 pounds. That 25% reduction enables Tesla to use lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries instead of expensive nickel cobalt chemistry. LFP costs $85 per kilowatt hour compared to $120 per kilowatt hour for nickel cobalt alternatives on a 55 to 60 kilowatt hour pack. That saves nearly $2,000 per vehicle. CATL, Tesla's primary battery supplier, Confirmed delivery of next-generation LFP cells with 180 watt-hours per kilogram energy density specifically for Tesla's compact platform. Expected range, 250 to 300 miles from a battery pack costing half what the Model Y's requires. The aerodynamics are equally calculated. New carbon fiber reinforced polymer wheels reduce unsprung weight by 15% and improve aerodynamic efficiency by 8%. Tesla's internal testing shows these wheels add 12 miles of range and reduce road noise by 3 to 4 decibels. Manufacturing cost? Down 40% through automated fiber placement technology developed with SGL Carbon. Wheel drag accounts for 15% of energy loss at highway speeds. The Model 2's enclosed aerodynamic covers reclaim an additional 4 to 5% range compared to the Model 3's already efficient design. At this price point, every efficiency gain directly impacts profitability. Here's where Tesla's approach becomes genuinely disruptive. Every Model 2 ships with full RoboTaxi grade hardware as standard equipment. The Q2 earnings call revealed plans to increase the neural network's parameter count by nearly 10 times. Musk specified this means substantially enhanced processing capability. The difference between recognizing obstacles and predicting complex traffic scenarios three intersections ahead. Every unit includes either refined HW4 or early HW5 autonomous driving silicon camera-based driver monitoring, 360-degree object detection, and over-the-air update capability. Whether buyers activate full self-driving or not, the hardware collects data, learns patterns, and evolves. This mirrors the streaming service model. Provide premium-capable hardware to everyone. Charge separately for activation. But Tesla gains something more valuable than subscription fees – massive-scale training data. McKinsey estimates this standardized approach reduces per-unit production costs by 15% versus maintaining separate product lines. One manufacturing process, one bill of materials, software-only differentiation. The more Model 2s on roads, the faster FSD improves across Tesla's entire fleet. It's a compounding advantage no competitor can replicate without similar scale. To reach the target price, Tesla made precise eliminations. No panoramic glass roof, no powered lift gate, no rear seat heaters, no ambient lighting, no multi-pane acoustic glass. Seats use textile instead of synthetic leather. The dashboard follows the refreshed Model 3 Highland design. Minimal, screen-centric, functional. These cuts save $1,500 to $2,000 per vehicle without compromising the core driving experience. Buyers still get instant electric torque, quiet operation, and the software interface that makes conventional cars feel dated. Tesla added value where it creates maximum impact. Recent patents cover advanced HVAC systems 
with zoned thermal control, occupant sensing, and automated air quality monitoring. The system detects skin temperature and adjusts airflow without driver input, delivering premium feel at budget pricing. The hidden vent design from the Model Y likely carries over. Integrated sensors continuously monitor cabin conditions and optimize automatically. These electronic upgrades cost relatively little, but generate substantial perceived value. Tesla hasn't announced official pricing, but the economics are clear. With LFP batteries under $90 per kilowatt hour, unboxed manufacturing savings, and streamlined components, analysts estimate $20,000 to $25,000 starting price. After the current 7,500 U.S. federal EV tax credit, that's potentially $12,500 to $17,500. In international markets with additional incentives, effective costs could drop below $15,000. That's Honda Civic pricing, Toyota Corolla territory, except this vehicle offers instant torque, minimal maintenance, and over-the-air updates that improve it over time rather than making it obsolete. Legacy automakers can't compete here. GM discontinued the Bolt rather than achieve profitability. Ford loses approximately $40,000 per EV sold. Volkswagen's ID.2 won't launch until 2026 at earliest, a full year behind Tesla's timeline. G, the schedule is concrete. Initial builds, June 2025, completed. Mass production, late 2025 slash Q4, confirmed by engineering leadership. First deliveries, early 2026, North America, mid-2026 globally. Tesla's Q2 production, exceeding 410,000 vehicles, proves factory capacity exists. The supplier network is activated. The unboxed manufacturing process is validated on Cybertruck production lines. Every component is positioned at $20,000 with 300 miles of range and FSD-ready hardware. This isn't merely another electric vehicle option. This is the product that makes internal combustion economically obsolete for the majority of car buyers. The evidence is documented, the timeline is public, and the production has begun. The next 12 months will reveal whether the industry saw it coming or got caught completely off guard. This is exactly why Tesla stayed silent while critics declared the Model 2 dead. They were building it the entire time. What this means is simple. The EV market is about to face its iPhone moment. When a superior product costs less than the outdated competition, the game is over. Legacy automakers spent decades protecting their business models. Tesla just made them obsolete. By late 2025, they'll be competing against a $20,000 electric vehicle with 300-mile range and autonomous capability. There's no counterplay. There's no catching up. The gap just became a canyon. And this is just the beginning. Once Tesla proves the unboxed process at scale, they'll replicate it globally. Shanghai, Berlin, Austin, Mexico. We're talking millions of units annually within three years. The question isn't whether EVS will dominate. It's how fast internal combustion collapses. Here's what I want to know. At $15,000 post-incentive, does the used car market even survive? Drop your prediction in the comments. This is Tech Revolution, where we cut through the hype and show you what's actually happening in the industry. If you want this level of analysis on every major development, hit subscribe. The next 12 months will rewrite automotive history, and you'll want to see it unfold. The revolution isn't coming. It's already here.